What's up everybody, Johnny over at Witchcraft Whips. Today I thought we were gonna have a look at uh, how to achieve uh, clean strand drops. Or rather, one method uh, to achieve uh, clean strand drops. This is a small tip that I uh, posted on Instagram a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I think it works quite well. And it uses a needle. First, I'm just gonna grease the strands a bit more. When you grease the strand, you can also rub the excess off on the thong. That just helps the strand to slide into place up here a bit better when you pull it tight. So, right now we're in 16 plat, we got under 4, over 4, and we're ready to move into 14 plat, under 4, over 3. Now, when I drop my strands, I like to drop them in pairs, both at the same time. You can do it other ways, but that's my preferred way of doing it. And right now, uh, these two top strands, or the strands at the back are the ones to be dropped. So we're gonna work the first strand through under four over four, tighten it and hold so it gets a chance to slide into place up here. Same thing on the other side. And there we are. Now the strands that we are dropping are right here. This one and this one. Now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna push a needle into the bolster or the belly right where these two strands cross each other. So I'm gonna get my needle and my quite handy sewing glove to be able to push the needle into the bolster. There we are. And we're gonna push the needle in right there. we are. And now we're just going to continue plaiting for a couple of turns. Still going under four, over four. Placing, placing or placing that strand underneath, underneath the needle. Same with this one. Under four, over four. Tighten it and hold, placing it under the needle. It's a bit awkward doing this because you're in my way, dear viewers. Or the camera's in my way, to be precise. Now what we're looking to do here is uh, plait all the strands until it would be the drop strands turn to be plaited again. But right now we've made a couple of more plaits to hold things in place. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the strands that we are dropping. It's this strand and this strand and gently Pull them down along the core. That's one of them. Here we have the other one. Okay. 
like so. Now what the needle does is that it helps these two strands to hold their position up here. So once you've plaited a full sequence you can pull these strands tight without having them separate up here and creating an ugly gap. Of course it helps to be a bit careful when doing this. Or a bit gentle I should say. And what we have done now is move from under 4 over 4 into under 4 and over 3. Because these two strands disappeared into the core. And there we are, we successfully plaited a full sequence. Now this strand, the next one to be worked, is this one passing right underneath the needle, so it's time to tighten the dropped strands. Now still being a bit gentle, I can now pull these strands snug without having them getting out of position. So, now we're just going to plaid a couple of more turns to really lock things into place. And there we are. The needle can now be removed. And after rolling this will look even better, but now you've got a really clean strand drop. And these two strands that are now heading into the core can be tapered out into nothingness. And now the next drop to be done from 14 down to 12, that's going from an odd plat into an even plat, will be done from the back. And it's basically the same thing there. Just take the strands that you're gonna drop, have them cross over each other in the back, push a needle into it to hold it in place, plaid over it, tighten the drop strands, and continue your work. So that's about it. Bye for now.